Good morning, Grade 6. This morning, we are going to study the different safety measures we need to do before, during, and after earthquake. Are you prepared? The key to effective disaster planning is prevention. So, here are the tips that you need to do before an earthquake happens. First, know the earthquake hazards in your area. Second, follow the structural design and engineering practices when constructing a house or building. Third, evaluate the structural soundness of the building and houses. Next, prepare your homes, workplace, or schools. Strap or vault heavy furniture cabinets to the walls. Check the stability of hanging objects like ceiling fans and chandeliers. Breakable items, harmful chemicals, and flammable materials should be stored properly in the lowermost secured shelf. Familiarize yourself with the exit routes. Know the following. First, extinguishers. Second, first aid kits. Third, alarms. Fourth, communication facilities. Okay, so just a note, you must learn how to use them beforehand. Notes, learn how to use them beforehand. Prepare a handy emergency supply kit with first aid kit, can food and can opener, water, clothing, clothing blanket, battery operated radio, flashlights, and extra batteries. And always remember to participate in Earthquake Trio. inside a structurally sound building or home stay there okay so here are the things that you need to do during an earthquake first if possible quickly open the door for exit second dock under a table or under a study desk protect your head with arms so you will do like this okay and number three, number three, okay? Stay away from glass, windows, shelves, cabinets, and other heavy objects. And fourth, beware of falling objects. Be alert and keep your eyes open. And if you're outside, move to an open area. Stay away from trees, power lines, posts, and concrete structures. Move away from steep slopes which may be affected by landslides. And if you are near the shore and feel an earthquake, especially if it is too strong, move quickly to higher ground because tsunamis or tidal wave might follow. And if you are in a moving vehicle like this picture, stop and get out. Do not attempt to cross the bridges overpasses or flyovers which may have been damaged. Now we're going to discuss what are you going to do after an earthquake. Be prepared for aftershocks, okay? Once the shaking stops, take the fastest and the safest way out of the building. Don't use the fire. First, do not use the elevators like this one, okay? Next, do not enter damaged buildings and do not use telephones unless it is very necessary and of course do not panic and here are the things that you need to check after an earthquake first check yourself and others for injuries second check the water and electrical lines for damages Third, check uh, chemical spills, toxic, and flammable materials. And lastly, check and control fires which may be spread. If you need to evacuate your residence, 
leave a message stating where you are going okay and uh, always bring your emergency or supply kit with you keep uh, updated on disaster instructions from battery operated radio <music>